water is going to go in here. The frog is very tiny. He's a really tiny frog. He's going to go in, the, in, this, in this little container on the bottom. Okay? You are going to build something using these different materials to make sure that the water drips on the frog. Okay, you don't want the water to just pour on the frog because one, it could be too much water in the frog right? or all the water could pour in here and then evaporate and then the frog will dry out. So we, you, need, you need to learn and you're going to work with different materials to build something that will allow the water to travel through, because remember, that's what happens with the membranes, the water travels through and drops on the frog a little bit at a time. Now, what we're going to do is we have a lot of different materials. Because remember, before we start building anything, we need to know what materials we need to have. Now, what do you think would be an important property? Remember, that's the, uh, how the material acts, what the material does. What would be an important property for your materials to have in order to be successful for your design? Meaning, it drips enough water on the frog, but not too much. It needs to have like a hole. Okay, it needs to have a hole. True, because the water needs to get through. It needs like to be good, like the, fa the same fabric, like at least sometimes, or it needs to drip little, little by little. But it needs to drip little by little. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we have a couple of different materials that we're gonna use. Um, we're all we're going to test our materials, meaning we're going to look at the material and we're gonna see one how much water passes through. Okay. Is it going to be all the water that you poured as it pass through, the sum of the water? When we say sum, um, we, we're going to give everyone a half a cup of water. And I want you to, we're going to measure it afterwards again. So you're going to pour it through. We're going to time it. Does it go by fast? Does it pour out all the way? Did you see that it goes little, it goes, has like a medium pace, it kind of flows, or it kind of goes drop by drop by drop by drop. So again, you're going to have 30 seconds for each material. And then make observations. Did it start pouring out really fast? Did it start pouring out really fast and then slow down? Did it start slow and then go fast? Any, any observation that you notice about how the water and how much water travels, I want you to write that down in your observation. You will be testing out sponges, a piece of aluminum foil, um, a coffee filter, a piece of felt, Cotton balls. Cotton balls, and I think that's going to be where it says other option. Okay, I have included that because it's not here. Um, this is the screen. Okay. And then this is the cheesecloth. It looks like a like a gauze, like a bandage that you might get at the nurse's office. Okay. Um, Christian will be coming around with the water. As soon as he comes with the water, please put the water inside on the inside the pan. Like, don't pour it in the pan but place the cup in the pan. All the water, anything that we're going to do is going to be in the pan so that way we don't have any water being spilled anywhere. When you are testing your material, you're going to do one material at a time. Okay? You will have the pan on one desk, you will have the container that's going to catch the water on the bottom, and you're going to have your membrane, your, cell mem your container up top. Then you will place, let's start off with the sponge, I think that's the first one, right? Yeah. Okay, you're going to start off with the sponge, leave it here. When I tell you go, you're going to pour the water. Be very careful, don't just dump it in there because that's when you have water all over the place. Yes. Yes. You are going to dump all of the water. Okay? You're going to dump all of the water. And then I will set the timer for 30 seconds. When the timer goes off, I want you to pay attention. Again, you are observing how fast the water is going through. And, excuse me, you will observe also how much water. So if you need to kind of re-pour it back into the measuring cup, do that. Because then you could see how much water it actually either it absorbed too much, the material, and it didn't let the water go through. Because remember, your goal is to create something that will allow Juan Daniel's frog to stay moisturized with a drop at a time. Okay. She said the whole baby. Yeah, but not like the oil. Ready? Yeah, but not like Begin. That. Go, go, go. Not like. Pour it all the way. Pour it. Okay. Did it come in? Make your observation. Hold it. It comes in. Is that fast? It comes in fast. Oh, it's too much. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is. It's dripping, dripping, So it goes in fast? Wait, not like, not that quick. No, you're supposed to pay it quick. Medium, slow. Go in medium. And then it started to drop. Drop. 
So this is some. And me. When you're done making your observation, you could put the water back in the cup. You could squeeze the sponge, it's okay. Okay, so you're gonna press, you're gonna put the aluminum foil now on in the container. Up, begin. Go. Go. Something's coming out. Wait, drops. Drops, 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 drops. Go. I ain't gonna do nothing. Mm -hmm. You just tap it again. I'm tapping it. I'm gonna make a hole in it. Wait, oh, you gotta wait. No. Oh! Whoa! Oh. 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 oh! Fast though. Oh, that is so cool. Quickly. That is dope. That's quickly, right? Okay, pay attention. Very good. Make sure you have your observations. We're going to give you another piece of foil. I'm actually gonna give you the two pieces of foil now. Be very careful. You can make the hole any way you'd like. Because for the, the one, you're going to put one hole in one, and you're going to put two holes in the other. Okay, set up the aluminum foil with one hole. Ready? Pour, begin. It's coming down. It's coming down. Now, it'll survive like that. Yeah, it will. It really wouldn't. Do you think so? Yeah, they because really it's just too much water. It's too much water going, water going down because No, because now it's dripping. Now it's dripping. But now it's dripping. Because it was, it was only a little bit water. But the initially, it's going too fast or too yeah. slow? Too fast. Time's up. Fast, right? Set up for the next one. The next one's going to be the aluminum foil with two holes. Begin. Okay, so what did you do? It's quickly and it's cool, huh? but it's going down too fast. Okay, time's up for that section. Okay, the next one that we will be doing is the felt. That's this piece of material right here. You got some more What do you notice right away about that show? It's, 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 it's like it's, it's a type of fabric. People wipe their eyeglasses all the time. Are we ready? Let me see. I see that group is ready. Ready? Ready? Begin. Go. Oh, it's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. That is not good for you. Don't worry about too much about the color. Is that it's because of the color of the felt? Okay. So don't worry about too much of the color right now. Let's see what happens. Some, right? Some, no. Right? Oh. What's the operations? Well, we don't know if all of it is went through yet because they still no, see water. No, because water on the side. It's stopping already. It's already stopping. All right, no, no, stopping. All right. relax, relax. <laughs> okay, now it's going quickly. Well, what kind of drops do we call that? Mini drops. All eyes up here for a minute. Now, I know you guys are doing a really nice job, Matthew. You guys are doing a really nice job setting up how to measure. Now what I need you to pay attention is if the water doesn't go all the way through the way you think it should, don't shake it. Don't try to make the water go through. If not all the water came out, don't force all the water to go out. Because remember, the goal is not to get all the water to go through. The goal is to get enough water shh, shh, enough water to keep the frog moist. So you need to pay attention at the materials that you're using that might allow some of the water through and also pay attention at how fast, okay? A lot of you are, I see a lot of excitement, which is great, but again, I want you to remember what is the reason you're doing this? Why are you doing this? Don't lose focus. Your focus should be paying attention to how the material is, how the water is going through the material and how much water is going through the material, okay? So now the next set of materials that you're going to test is going to be the coffee filters. This should be around 10, okay? You are testing them all like this. So just place them in the container. Ready? Okay, begin. You're going to pour like a little bit. 
It's not pouring at all. It's, it's really not. It's gonna stop. Oh, drip. Okay, yeah, I, I see some family. What do you say? It's dripping. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we think that that's might work. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is enough water. Yeah. Yes. This is gonna work. Oh, I think that's gonna work. So this one will work too. I know it. The next one is green, and then the other one is cold. Too dark. Very cold. The next material that you will be testing is the cheese cloth. That's this right here. It looks like the gauze that you might get at, at you know at the dentist, at the nurse. Okay. This is what Miss Ortiz used when she was just as a mummy. Okay. Yes. Remember she wrapped herself up. This she used this. Okay, so set this up. Make a prediction with your group. What do you think is going to happen with the water as you pour through this? Ready? Wait, don't go that fast. It got a little quick. Oh, it went a It went medium. That? So say some equipment. And please write down your observation. Now you will be testing the screen. The screen should be very You know how sometimes you know how sometimes you want to get stuck. That should be stuck. You know, so I can begin, please. Okay. Hold something. Bounce on hold. One, two. Ready? Begin. Action. <coughs> Oh, wait, did it make a noise? Dang, it doesn't make any noise, it's quiet. Yeah, it's not going to Too fast. All of this going down. It's not soft. It's not soft. Okay, time is up. Now we're doing cotton balls. Yes. Please make sure you write your observations. Um, I chose cotton balls just because I thought it would be kind of interesting, even though it's not on the list. You're going to get maybe like three cotton balls? Okay? I'll do that part. We'll do three cotton balls? And Sebastian will write the observation. Wait, that's okay. Should we open it? No, I'm going to open it. Just like that. Just like that. Set it up, please. Just put it in. The is not that big, so it probably I this one. Gonna soak up some of the I think it's going to pour too much for fast. It's going to soak up. It's going to soak it up, though. I know. Well, Ready? I know when she's splashing, it's going to move around. I just, I can see that happening. Okay, I have this group. This group is. They squashed the wind. Miss Avila, do you think it's going to flow? You think it's going to flow? Okay. In your life. Ready and begin. Ahead, let's see. <laughs> what are we noticing? It's going down drip by drip like. Oh, yeah, I saw one drip. That's it. There you go. Because he's putting it. In. Nope. The fog is going to do now. None. No, he just survived with that kind of water. Now, I will say this. With what you need to design, with what you need to make, you need to take you need to take into consideration that Juan Juan Daniel needs to leave the frog by the sideline while he's playing his game. That means once he pours that water in, or whatever he's using to moisturize, once he pours that into the container, he's playing his game for two or three hours. He can't go back to pour more water in to let it drip on the frog or to take water out. So you need to take into consideration the water one cannot go too fast. It needs to do the drip by drip. So if we're using drip by drip, what two materials would be best for using drip by drip? The coffee filter and I'll say the cotton ball. Okay, so we have the coffee filter, the um, cotton balls, drip by drip, oh. drip by drip. Now if we're looking at something that's going to allow the water to go by too fast. What materials allow the water to travel too fast? Too fast. So we have certain materials like 
the cheesecloth, um, the cheesecloth, which is over here, the cheesecloth, and the screen that had visible holes. So some membranes do have visible holes, holes that we can look at, see right through, but we know that it might allow bigger particles to go in. But then you might have materials like the coffee filter or the felt or even the cotton balls that they might have holes because they do allow the water to go through, correct? But the holes might not be that big to see. So it allows certain, thing, certain things in, but not everything, okay? So I want you to take that in consideration because you're going to be using a combination of these materials to create your design, okay? You're going to be using, not, you could just one, but again, the purpose of this design is you need to create something that will allow the frog to stay moist while Juan Daniel's playing the soccer game. In your groups, in your packets, I want you to star maybe three materials that you think would be best to use for your design. Because whatever that we, whatever product or that we put in it is so, is so and cotton, yeah, cotton balls. Filter. And the cotton balls. Because I would like to say coffee filter. Um, not that good. Cause it's, it's like it'll stop and soak up. But it just like about if they fill all the way up, that drop, it could like get too soggy that it just leaves it. So all of that wood is going to pour. How about pour the fill? It's going to fill up. The cotton balls. Because it air has water in there, but it will not Yeah, but it's going to move around though as the water circles it. Yeah, so that's going to be bad for the fall. No, I don't think the screen is. Yeah, it had too many holes in it. The whole thing was made out of holes. So, cotton I balls. Think, I think those two. Cotton balls, yeah. You got, got one more thing. Cotton balls? Yeah. No, the cotton balls, no, because it barely, the water yeah, barely yeah. came down. Yeah, so. none of them came down. No water came down. I think those two would be the best. I like that it's hands on. They get to try things, play with things, you know, really test things out on their own. So they're not just getting the information from the teacher. They're developing their own ideas about how what properties they should use. I hope that they learn the, um, the idea of properties. Um, it's something I wish I could, you know, definitely spend more time on is what is what does property mean? Um, and the idea that certain materials have different properties for a certain reason. I think just make sure you set up the rules from the, from the beginning. You know, let them know, okay, listen, either one person's coming out from the group. With the older students, you could have one person from each group come out for the water. Um, and also let them know everything should be done in the pan, you know? Nothing should be done on the desk. I know yesterday we had a little spill, so definitely have a lot of uh, paper towels handy just in case, because it does happen. As long as they know that it's, they're not toys, you know, this is, you know, let, let them feel like they're the engineers, they're scientists, so they take a little more responsibility, a little more pride in what they're doing, and they're not gonna play with it. Make sure that everything organized and ready, so when it's time to test, there's no downtime. It's, I know it's very fast paced, but the faster pace, it doesn't allow for any, any fooling around. <laughs>